a little bit of background on this. Um, this is some of the history really about where it's come from and, and it did start very much uh, with looking at um, through the kind of marketeer's eyes about how companies obviously create stories about themselves and use their branding to kind of create this kind of aspirational, I really want that product uh, sort of feel to them. Um, and for any of you that want to go off and read a bit more, there's a book here which is one of the kind of early writers on this by Tom Peters, back in 1997 actually, called The Brand Called You. And he looked at really what is it um, that creates the ingredients for people to progress. And actually how can we take a lesson from those big brands um, to help us progress in our own careers. So very much putting you at the heart of uh, that brand maker. So. Kind of following on from that, we then get other people talking and describing this. And I think this is probably one of the most um, well-used quotes when you see things that written about personal brand. Your brand is what other people say about you when you're not in the room. Okay, what do you think they mean by that then? Anybody had experience of that? Yeah? Well, I'm a musician, so I think that is very relatable to like my industry. Because of course, like it's when you're constantly networking and you know everyone, people are talk people are talking about you behind your back, not in a negative way, but in a positive yeah. way. Like everyone's saying, like, oh, I know a certain musician would be great for that gig, or uh, I know an engineer for there. So like, yeah, it's very much mm. how you present yourself is is your brand, and that's what you're selling. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, great example. It creates opportunity, doesn't it, in some yeah. cases? Yeah, creating that brand. Was there a, another hand up over here? Any, yeah, go for it. Um, how people perceive us, or from how I've presented myself and then I've left, they've then made a judgment on that. So that's how they're going to yeah. perceive them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That kind of first or second or even third impressions make a difference. And I am a bit of a fan of quotes, and this one really kind of struck me as to actually why we really need to pay attention to it. Um, this is from a lady who actually helped us on the programme in the previous, but she said, I don't know whether you thought of yourself as a brand. If you own your own business, then probably, but if you work as a you know, corporate employee or you know, you're kind of working for yourself or volunteer or even thinking on an individual <coughs> basis, maybe you haven't given it as much thought. So listen, people are going to make their minds up about you, whatever you do. But if we think about this concept of branding and make sure make some intentional choices, maybe the conclusions they come to will be the ones we're pleased with rather than the ones we're stuck with. So really the rest of this session today, we want you to be thinking about how you can plan for those impressions, how you can plan to create those opportunities. So just by way of a bit of a flow chart, I guess, this is why, um, and Sally and I spoke uh, last week actually to a group of um, uh, colleagues about this very point, which is what the impact of uh, personal brand can be. So about creating that impression that creates that reputation as you've talked about, that story, that intrigue, it does then start to open up conversations, it opens up opportunities and that creates the possibilities. So just out of interest up here, how many of you are working at the moment? So as well as obviously studying you've got... Okay, keep your hands up then. Okay. How many of you from doing the work you've done, so you started in one job doing one, you know, a set of activities, how many of you from that have then been given some extra things to do? Okay, pretty much every hand staying up in the room. Actually, that's because you've created a reputation for yourself. So quite possibly, you've come into work, <coughs> you've shown your commitment, you've done things well, or a few tasks that you've been asked for well, and then, other things have started to flow. And that really comes back to that reputation, that brand you've created in the workplace you're in about what you can do, what you're capable of. And that carries right through here on in to the opportunities that might follow well beyond your time at Beckett. So it's really, really key and important to really pay attention to this because then it starts to take you in kind of career direction and create opportunities, not just in those early steps, but in the steps when you're there and the opportunities that come when you're there. And one of the stats, probably the you know, most compelling one, is just how much of the job market moves 
um, behind the scenes, so this kind of concept of the hidden jobs market, which is really fueled by brand and personal brand, I would say. So we talk about, you know, on average, about 80 to 85 percent of the jobs that are really out there never come into the kind of full domain and the kind of visibility of you. It's about, you know, having that reputation, being known, and then you start to see people approaching you. And actually, we had a really good example at the start of the session when you talked about someone coming back to you on the basis of something you posted, kind of says it, doesn't it, and really brings it to, to home about what, um, what can be the impact of paying a bit of attention to this. So, yeah. So we're going to ignore this bit because this is what it's about. It is about blowing your own trumpet, and hopefully Karen's earlier session has gone, we're all accepting that that's what we're going to do, and we're here to build our own confidence about doing this, but also build each other's. So any of that kind of negative thought, that all the stuff going on in the head, let's park that outside of this room for the rest of the session, because we kind of need to be in a kind of positive space to channel this forward. So, with that in mind, we're going to start to think about almost creating this story and owning that story of yours. So what I've left each of you around on the table is a worksheet, just a two-sided sheet that will kind of guide us through the rest of this session. Um, and on that sheet are some questions to get you thinking. So some of this thinking you've already done, which is great. So you might be lifting across some of the words, some of the phrases, some of the things that you've got from the session that um, we've just done a little bit earlier. Um, this is the key part, really. This is an image actually we used in the first session of the recaller, which was trying to say that you guys are all unique in this room, being part of this program. Now we need to get down to think about you and your unique quality. And this is where, I think, from a personal branding perspective, it's starting to think about that unique story of yours. You know, I, when I sort of talk to students about and heading into the job market and all those steps that there are. It, and being sat in front of someone at an interview or kind of meeting someone for the first time that might be a useful contact is trying to instill and remember that message. What are the things that I can talk about that no one else can? So what are those really unique qualities? So what I want you to do is I want you to spend, um, let's say, five minutes. I don't want you to agonise on this starting to work through some of the questions that are on that, that list there. So first of all, it sounds like a big question, but who are you? So if you break it that down in a sentence, you know, what's that introduction? What's the kind of backstory? You know, what are the things that you stand for? So what are the things that are important to you? If you remember Karen got you thinking about the perfect day. So what kind of things came out in that in terms of the things that motivate and drive you? What are your interests? So what kind of gets you excited? You know, what do you value? What can you offer? So what are the skills you've got that you can offer out to other people? And then what's that unique piece? I know it sounds like a lot, but I just want you to start thinking about those things. And actually, I might give you, yeah, till quarter past to actually work through that. If it's helpful, chat to the person next to you, maybe share um, some examples if you, if you want to, or grab one of us. And I think what we'll do is we'll dot ourselves across the table, if that's all right, um, and give us a shout as you're working it if you want to chat, anything, chat, to, chat to anything specifically. So we're just trying to work at this kind of story, this personal story. Okay. <laughs> 